Hello, welcome to Trend Settings episode 98. <laughs> I didn't write it down, but I remembered because Jono told me and I have the best memory ever. It's true, he does. They did a, test. The channel's called Group Settings, the podcast is called Trend Settings, and we talk about <laughs> what's trending and hot every single week, no matter how livid or horrible or lovely or just good feeling it is, you know? We have no limits, but we don't swear because we like it to be you to be able to listen to it in front of your family. Yeah, Speak for yourself. Limit, but good limit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is episode ninety-eight. My name is Ali. I'm Jono. I'm Chris. I'm Nick. Today we're talking about Comic Con everything, and then what kind of came out of Comic Con and just surrounding things in the whole Twitter being a mob that takes down Disney directors somehow, and then we're talking oh, waters on Mars. Guys, that is crazy. Water? Mars? What are you talking about? <laughs> Good one, Jono. Now, let's start off Ziggy Bart Brain with, <laughs> with, with Comic Con. <laughs> Any of you guys go to Comic Con this year? <clears throat> it's a dream. I gave it a hard miss. It's a dream. It is a I dream. Did. You did? How no. was it? Wait, no, that was RTX. Okay. Well, San Diego Comic Con, it's the place to be for all us, um, or oh, excuse me, I shouldn't say us, mm, for yeah. all people, all movie, TV, and of course, comic book lovers. It's where the, the studios and the producers, they drop their deuces, <laughs> they drop their news, excuse me, <laughs> right. got on a roll there. Deuces. Take it all back. <laughs> Horrible. Bird. I hope they're not dropping deuces. So look, I just want to give you guys a quick rundown and get your thoughts, your feelings about some of the happenings that went on this week. I mean, it's a it's a convention. So look, I'm going to go along deuces. with Ali here. Ali started us with this trailer we got for a show called Titans. Now this is like teen Titans. I'm assuming they're going off, really but they're not teenagers, I guess. Really have no interest, to be honest. It's a DC <laughs> Universe show about Robin here being upset. and But the big headline is, right, guys, these hoodlums coming up to him fighting Robin, and they say, hey, where's Batman? And Robin says, F Batman. But he actually says the full word. Whoa. But he, he says the full expletive, guys. Yeah. yeah. F-U-C-K. Yeah. B-A-T-M-N. Like, is this what? another terrible DC TV show? It is, oh, but it take that isn't. Back. They're people, all so bad. people actually love them though, so it's different to the cinematic universe. This yeah. is outside. This is not like the DC. Uh, what do you call the it? Arrowverse? Yeah, this is not that. That no. this is this is something different because this is streaming on the DC platform. Yeah, so DC is making a streaming platform. Wait, wait, wait. So what are the different DC universes we so have? So we got at the CW. Okay, which is that's terrible. That's also Flash. no, it's that's the, great. The Flash is that's great. the one. That's the one everyone likes. Yeah, that's the oh. one people like. It's, that's, it's also called the Berlanti verse because he's, okay. he's like the showrunner of all the right. Okay, <laughs> regardless of what Nick says, they're not that good. But <laughs> the Flash is I can great. I can never get past a few episodes. I don't like either. the Ar- I don't like Arrow, but I do like Flash. They're very popular. They're mm. going strong. This not involved somewhere else so it's a different universe so they can have swearing and violence because it's on dc universe is that the same universe as the movies dc's no i don't, know, I don't think so. i don't think so so there's three dc universes at the moment so there's there's the cartoon movie dc universe mm-hmm. the comic okay. book dc universe okay the movie dc universe okay the cw dc universe and this new one the dc streaming that's, universe that's too many yeah it's a lot Plus well, Nolan Batman and then not Nolan Batman. Because <laughs> in the cartoon one, there's parallel universes. So Burton that's at least 60 universes. <coughs> well, there's hundreds of Anyway, them. look what else we got from DC. They had a big week, guys. I'll tell you what. A lot of the DC fanboys are very excited. This Live. is a big one. Aquaman. I believe it's Aquaman. Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman. Waterman. Got its first trailer. Have you? Did you watch this trailer? I did. Did you watch this trailer? Yeah. What did you think? Look good. I rate it. It's good. You're yeah. interested. Yeah, in I'm interested. Movie? I it's was not interested in Aquaman, and now they've made me think Aquaman could be good. I was like, always the person who said they can't make this movie, but this trailer actually gets me pretty jazzed. Yeah, isn't there a, one of the mo- the cartoon movies has the same plot? Uh, no idea. Yeah. What do you mean? I kind of. I fell think off one of the cartoon movies has the. It's 
basically the same thing. Well, they're all recycling. Well, where Black Manta comes and tries to take over yeah. the realm. It's, no, no, it's that's not like Black every Manta. Bla- that's like every bloody Aquaman yeah. story. Is it? Okay. All I don't of know his how origin stories is like, I don't want to be king. You have to be king. No, Ugh. this is this is not. But it's more of a rip off of Black Panther. You kind of you kind of have to do the. You have to introduce all the big players in the origin story, mm. I guess. Aquaverse. Yeah. So the chick's like the sea witch thing, right? Chick. I but actually couldn't figure out who Amber Heard's character was. Mira. Yeah, but yeah, I, know, I actually don't know who she is in relation to Aquaman. His wife. Is it? Well, his to-be wife. Yeah. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. Jeez. Love interest. Yeah. Jeez. Love interest. It is the love interest. Okay. Excuse me. So they're not related. How do they keep the plastic out of the ocean? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it looks very pure. And clean. <laughs> that was... Well, um, I have no interest in this, to be honest. Why? It's really lame. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate Australians? I love Australians. Well, he's an Australian director. Yeah, that doesn't... I was going to say, <laughs> Jason Momoa is not Australian. <laughs> that doesn't instantly mean it's going to be a high-quality production, you know? It's the director of Fast and the Furious 7. Okay. Isn't he also the director of Saw? Yes. You should, he's have, actually the you should have started yeah. with that. He's the, director of, he's the creator and director of Saw. Uh, as otherwise known as the injection that changed how horror movies are made. Going yeah. Yeah further back away you're getting me less excited Chris are so you so are you just not into this because it looks dumb it does look dumb and speaking of looking dumb lame. DC movies have just been bad so far so so they've finally burnt that bridge for you I'll still see it but <laughs> you know. now speaking yeah. of dumb DC things there's also a Shazam trailer Shazam? oh come on I come was, on I'm, I'm feeling this I like yeah, this yeah I like it too I like all of them I like Zachary, Zachary Levi makes this movie how like, do you know no, I'm just saying. Like you it. watch the you watch the you watch the trailer and you go, this guy, this guy's gonna make the movie good. So, I yeah. found it weird that I don't know if it comes across in the mo- in the actual movie, but in this, his older version is nothing like his young version. No, personality wise, I mean, no, 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 but that's like, that's the thing. Like it's not supposed to be an older version. It's like uh, like even in the comics, like the old like Shazam is not doesn't really look like the kid. Do you no, want, no, do you want in, to know some I'd, awesome lore that I know because I'm a nerd? What? In the comics, it looks like his dad because his dad is dead. His dad is the ultimate hero, so that's uh, who he becomes right, right, right. because he wants to look like yeah, his yeah. dad. Wait, wait. Get, let me... Is that going to make you cry? There's an incarnation where I've seen that Shazam is actually a conglomerate of a couple of kids. Like, who, Yes, mm-hmm. that is, is that an right? alternate universe Shazam. But, no, my point is his personality was totally different. Right. Which is that... that I would have expected the oh, personality to be the same, but sure. the appearance, like, I don't care what he looks like. You could have been Samuel Jackson for all I But you had Zachary Levi doing the floss. I mean... Yeah, but his kid doesn't look like he would do the floss. <laughs> do you get what I mean? Mm. There's, it maybe, didn't make maybe any sense. You don't know. Maybe if you became a superhero... It's also really hard to tell from a trailer with yeah. that sort of thing as well. Yeah. Maybe. Look, he's smiling and he's happy. And he's a smartass. And then he becomes this dude. And he charges people's phones. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was great. <laughs> I look. I, I always thought like, if they could inject a little bit more levity into the D, that was always my thing with DC movies is that they're always so so serious. It was nice <coughs> to kind of see a little bit of humor peppered in there somewhere. Can I ask a question that came up into my brain and I just couldn't ask anyone at the time and it was very frustrating? Is Kazam just a rip off of Shazam? What's Kazam? Kazam was the Shack superhero movie <laughs> where he he wasn't a superhero though. He was a genie, genie. called Kazam. But they yell Kazam a lot in that movie. That's probably and from he, he appears when they yell Kazam. That's probably from Ali Kazam. I think the Shazam as well as not Shazam's probably ripped yeah, off. Shazam's that. not exactly a particularly original word either. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just all cool words. Yeah. Now I'm keen on this. It looks like fun. It looks like it looks yeah. good. It looks like it's leaning into the stupid. Yeah. Which is what you, which I feel like Aquaman's doing as well. No, I feel, I like, feel like Justice League. You need to lean into the stupid. No, Aquaman is gonna be. It's gonna be like. If I think they're gonna try and do the same tone as they did with Wonder Woman. Oh, whereas they're gonna have like so as long as they don't have dramatic. the CG villain at the end, I'd be happy. Which they probably will. Of course, it's gonna be a CG fight. CG fight. Godzilla. Godzilla. King of the monsters with a Stranger Girl with eleven. They turned it up to eleven. I love this. Movie. <laughs> I love this trailer. <laughs> You love this trailer? These guys make good trailers. And mm. I'm a sucker for that song, Claire de Lune. I'm with yeah. you. They're first, yeah, all their trailers are really good. The first trailer was like all red and smoky. When they did the dive through blue. the Oh, yeah, like, yeah. And you the, remember their trailers. Yeah, yeah. That this was is, true. The sound got me on that one. The trailer, trailer for the first Godzilla reboot movie was better than the movie. Yeah. I, I'm a defend. I'm, I'm an apologist. No, no, the movie, movie was okay. But the trailer was really good. Yeah, because... Yeah, 
yeah, if Brian Cranston had stuck around past the first yeah, act, that would, it would have been That better. really hurt seeing him go <laughs> in the first five minutes of the movie. This movie looks really cool, but the idea that they have to find all these monsters for some strange reason just what sounds the... ridiculous. I hope they lean into the idea Tom that Hilton. that lady who's saying that plan no. is actually crazy. That's the guy from Oh, Silicon sorry, Thomas, Thomas Middleditch. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, I really wish they hadn't yeah, revealed every good. single monster in this one because, like, you could easily do a monster per movie, but it seems like they're really throwing everything at the wall at this one. So yeah. it's got it's got Mothra, it's got the three headed one. Mm. What's that called? Uh, Ghidorah. Rodan. Oh, oh Ghidorah's no, a Ghidorah's different one. the three headed one. Rodan's the Rodan flies. The flying oh, flappy yeah, right, one. Right. The one that not Mothra but flies. Right. right. Then Mothra. That's Mothra. Mm. Yeah. The uh, music is awesome. I've never seen a Godzilla movie. Apart from the one that Gareth Edwards did, and the one that um, the so Roland you Emmerich, lied the Roland Emmerich guys back did. From your lie. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I've never <laughs> seen one. So you've I've seen never two? seen one. I've seen no, no, no. I've except seen, the except, one except, I've seen. I've never seen the Jap- <laughs> I've never seen any of the Japanese ones. Yeah, yeah, but you've yeah. seen the two that everyone's actually seen. Yeah, because the Japanese ones are so niche. They're like, oh, I want to see I a know, puppet be Godzilla. But I feel like I should have seen them. Did like, you see this classic cinema? Huh? Did you see? I've seen none of them with P Diddy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with with the baby, the Matthew stupid Broderick. one with the Matthew Broderick one. Yeah, yeah. I got. I even have the soundtrack for that one. Um, the I soundtrack. There's something like sixty movies. Got yeah, I movies, know. That's right? what I'm saying. Like, I I'm a bit ashamed that I haven't seen any of them. Before. So many different kaiju. Um, they're doing. There's another one planned for 2020 where they've got Kong. Kong's right? coming in. Yeah. They're well, that's the Monster that Universe, one. right? That they're yeah. building, and so. Look, I'm just looking for Jaegers. If Jaegers come into the scene, no, no some thanks. Point. Nobody wants that. Yeah, I'd want. I'm I'd expecting. Want. Now, a this is a crossover. I'm actually excited mm. for. I'm a Shyamalan apologist till I die. I realize some of them are garbage. This isn't a crossover. Okay, apologize for a the crossover happening. of his own characters. It's just a sequel. It was always part of Whoa. a series. Whoa! Uh, it's the Shyamalanverse. It yeah. involves superheroes. And multiple superheroes from different movies. There's only two. So there's only two over? movies in no, this universe, Ali. Three. Now there's three. Yeah, but they were all. Sequels. What makes a universe? Nick? <laughs> <laughs> the first one's who the hero is. The second one's who the villain is, and the third one's going to bring it all together. Well, that's not the second, sequel. The second one has nothing to do with the first one. Why is Bruce Willis in this scene? They're all caught because they have you. Have you seen it? No, I've seen like that's what I'm saying. Like, why are they all in the mental institution together? Well, I assume they'll explain it in the movie. No, but that's yeah. what I'm saying. Why are you, you don't want to explain it in the trailer? You explain about these no. terrible trailers that explain too much, and they get annoyed that they don't explain anything. I just want to know why. You know what's wrong not, with you? Better not gaff it up. That's what I'm saying. No, I don't think you will. It looks I think like he cares about Split, this. Split though. Split was brilliant. I I was really surprised at how good Split was. Yeah. You know what? Split was amazing. You know what's crazy is you you hear about Bruce Willis about being such a dick from Kevin Smith perspective yeah and then you hear that he did he did the end credit scene in split which is what ties the movies together because split actually has nothing to do with unbreakable at all no. which was the first movie was unbreakable mm. which was made in the 90s and split came out like two years ago yeah so the universe is a bit spread out and then he did that end credit scene for free just just in case it went anywhere oh, oh wow. that's awesome bruce willis well, well, like, that's what I'm saying. There's two different Bruce Willis's out there. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I mean. Saying. Like, yeah. he, maybe he's just trying to repair his status from Kevin Smith just trashing him every week on his podcast. I think maybe no, he just liked he, doing Unbreakable, so no, he wants to do the I, character again, right? It's funny because like he, Bruce Willis. I mean, sorry, Kevin Smith has talked about it with Rian Johnson, obviously, who did Looper with Bruce Willis, mm. and Rian Johnson talks about how easy and how great Bruce Willis was to work with. Right, and then. Kevin's like, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the Bruce Willis I work with. It was just difficult from day one. Wait, which movie was he from? Uh so Kevin Smith did uh, Cop Out. Uh, Cop Out, yeah. With I don't know what that with, is. Um, yeah, Tracy it's, it's, Morgan. It's with Tracy Morgan. It was it wasn't a movie that went very far. Yeah, and right. it was also a movie that was the same as another movie. I think the other guys came out at the same time. Was that the other? Co- there was two cop yeah. movies that yeah. were pretty much the same thing that came out at the same time. So it was also a victim of that. Hmm. And Bruce Willis's opinion of it is actually quite funny, which you can almost side with Bruce Willis, and then he just calls Kevin Smith whiny. Like that, <laughs> that's like his response to it. And you're like, honestly, that might be true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the guy does talk a lot and smoke a lot oh, of weed. Oh, he talks a lot. But I, I mean, that's, that's kind of what makes him likable in some regard, too. All right, so then we got uh, a few uh, things we could probably care less about. Fantas- Whoa. Fantastic Beast trailer. This is, this is my trailer of Comic-Con. What, what? are you talking about, bro? This uh, looks so much I fun. I didn't even watch this. Are you being serious? Look, it's, look, we're back in Magic Land. We're back in Harry Potterverse. 
We've gotten rid of Voldemort. Um, no, actually, the, no, he's they haven't gotten rid of him yet. It's pre-Voldemort. Yeah. It's got England's golden child. Jude Law. Yeah. I thought you were going to say Eddie Redmayne. No, Ed, I guess you could call them both like a younger version of himself. Um, why don't uh, you, you know jazz for this? Is it because you like you don't like Johnny Depp? Are you one of those people? I don't mind Johnny Depp. Uh, <coughs> oh, so you're okay with violence against women, huh? I love it. <laughs> um, that's my favorite activity. <laughs> but oh, gosh. no, I don't know. Like the, the, the first one was super disappointing, and I can't see anything here that's looking. Wait, you found the first mind. one disappointing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought the first one was fun. Yeah, I, li- I really like the first yeah. one. And this looks like it's got the fun, but it's also like actually making it pretty awesome. As I well. actually like these better than the Harry Potter movies because I'd read the books, whereas mm. these ones actually seem to be made for a movie. Like the plot is paced for a movie. I thought the first one was super boring. Did J.K. Rowling actually write this story? Yes. Uh, I think she consulted, probably. No, she wrote it. She, she actually it. wrote it? Yeah. For the screenplay. Yeah. Oh, all right. It's got to get money somehow. She wrote it proper. Like I was super jazzed for these, like Grindelwald and Dumbledore. But what's the deal with this Commander fellow? What I'm interested to figure no out is how, in him. how do they get over the fact? How does he duel him when Grindelwald's got the Elder Wand, which is the unbeatable dueling wand, and Dumbledore wins? That's what I want to know. And who's Dumbledore going to make out with? Because apparently he's gay, and everyone wants him to be gay in the movies, but. Yeah, Warner Bros. won't let him be gay in the movie. That's movies. why he can't face him, because he's gay with him. <laughs> he's gay with Grindelwald. <laughs> Who? Oh, J.K. Rowling came out and said he was gay. I gotta she say, didn't come out. She got him to come out. I'm I gotta not, say, if these two were gay what? with each other... Crap joke. Sorry. Uh, but, no, no, I mean, who, who, who mentioned that? No, she's she said it, but she hasn't said it in canon anyway. Uh, All okay. the fans want it. But it... It was, right? Dumbledore and Grindelwald, they were gay for each other. Yeah, that's the insinuation. That's, yeah, what he said. Grind- Grindelwald is definitely punching, though, in this one. I don't know. Colin. F- I liked him better as Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell is way better. But Oh, Colin yeah. Farrell didn't come back for this one? He's not... He didn't... He exist, transformed he in the end dead. of Fantastic Beasts into Johnny Depp. He was in disguise. I'm, oh. not, I'm not, like, metaphorically saying that. He actually did oh. that. The actor changed into a different actor. Why? I don't know. It has to be something to do with pay or something. Uh. Or Johnny Depp wasn't available to film the first one or something. <laughs> it's got to be something like that, right? Oh, it was, well, couldn't it be like plot-wise? It's just because a bait and switch. Everyone knew who Grindelwald was and they're looking hey, for him, so he back. had to be in secret. Yeah, I, thought pretty, he lost I, th- his, I thought he lost his memory. Who the heck is that? That was the guy in the first movie. No, that's Nicholas Flamel, oh, right. who invents the Philosopher's Stone, which yeah. is what makes him immortal. Which is what the first Harry Potter's about. Don't you guys know anything? Yeah, I, did, keep, I didn't. I didn't finish the trailer. He, didn't that dude get his? Didn't you that keep, guy get his mind wiped? You keep the asking of- questions that should be answered in the movie. Why do you want us to answer these questions and I'm know just, it from the no, trailer? No, but it's like, is that common knowledge? Like, it's like that's what's confusing. If you'll you're find Harry, out in the po- movie. Oh head. man, come on. Alita Battle Angel. Did you see that? Trailer? I didn't see that trailer yet. Is it it's good? A, so it's uh, the second trailer. Give me a second. It's so. This is Robert Rodriguez film looking forward to it that is actually looking really cool it's based on what's that based on the anime the anime which is also based on a manga which is lit <laughs> and it actually looks super banging i'm pretty keen for this but why like, battle angel leader aka big eyes big eyes i don't oh, know didn't this come out way before comic-con this trailer or was yeah. it like no a it was a new there's a new trailer just trailer. dropped this is the old trailer though i think yeah. no this is the new one is this the new one yeah i don't know i just think it looks like it's a some good fights happening and I'm good, keen to see Robert Rodriguez back doing something interesting uh, it's cool because they've kept the designs pretty faithful to what I remember in the anime at least anyway yeah. I love robot people that yeah. have real aspects to them oh so weird like in AI <laughs> when the guy's got a real face and then he turns sideways and it's a robot head Duh. then you're gonna love this the other thing so I'm moving right on along past this one <laughs> the other thing that actually drew me in that I had no interest in was the disenchant disenchantment Trailer? What's that? The Matt Groening Simpsons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh right. Yeah. The one that I posted. <laughs> yeah, this is your that. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's the, used to it yet. This trailer, because there's been a couple little teasers before this, but this trailer actually drew me in because it, well, I'm picking up, it's going to have an actual story. Yeah. Right? It's going to have an arc. Not like Simpsons or. Yeah. Futurama. Futurama ish. Yeah, but it's yeah. In, this is a more deliberate arc. Yeah. This is a proper story. How do you know? to be. From the trailer. Because it looks like they're on a quest. Yeah. It lends itself to an arc. That is what I'm 
picking up anyway. I could be wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> so you guys Every, loving it. For the audio listeners, the uh, one of the characters got impaled on a sword. But like he just leans down so slowly and it's like, <laughs> oh, there's a sword going through my head. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that got me keen for this one, which I wasn't interested in before. So speaking of this, I'm looking forward to this. This is unrelated, but related. Have you guys watched the new cartoon Final Space on no. Netflix? Is it good? It's bloody amazing. Oh, it? Honestly, it's like a Matt Groening and Rick and Morty like combination style. Is it Rick and Morty good or just kind of different? If if Rick and Morty had an overarching story, it would be more like this. Okay. Yeah. Instead of the one episode thing. Sure. Mm. It's it's so funny and it actually gets you emotional at times. That's yeah. why it's more like Futurama. You know how Futurama has those emotional hits sometimes. Mm. Like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Rick and Morty has that too. Yeah. yeah. But, but less. It's not as a it's not as deliberate. It's not like Game it's of Thrones. So, it's and it's usually subtle. a fake out. Yeah. Like when he gets a fake backstory. And it's then more like, subtle. They don't put... um. Don't you yeah. forget about <laughs> That was the best episode. Background. I'll tell you a waste of time of, on Netflix at the moment. Don't watch The Hollow. That was a complete waste of time. Never heard I don't think I've even seen it. Yeah, mm. It's an animation on Netflix. Look, I in other it. news, let me tell you some quick little tidbits. Some what? hot goss. What tits? <gasps> Show me the tits. Clone Wars is um, back. Woo woo! Any Clone Wars fans in the house? Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yep. well, it's coming back. I think I watched him. Commander Rex or whatever his name was. Captain Rex. Captain Rex. He introduced himself. Commander like, Cody. Actually, I think he's dead. Yes, you can call me sir or whatever. No, Cody's alive in the Clone Wars. Is he? He's the one who turns on bloody Obi-Wan in the movie. Where did... Yeah, but does he survive through the whole Clone Wars? Because I know that Rex survives into like post Yeah, because he's Wars. in Rebels. Yeah. Where did um, where did the Clone Wars finish up? I never made it to the end. It didn't. That's the whole yeah. point of this. This is the right. reason. Yeah, it it kind of <laughs> got cut very short when Disney bought him out. So they were they were like a quarter into production of like making the final season, mm. and then Disney got bought and they just cut it like yesterday's meat, mm. uh-huh. and mm. then they put him on and the then Rebels. went straight into Rebels. Yeah, I which see. was good. Rebels was good. There were still a lot of Clone Wars fans out there. Oh, I I, I'm actually I am a Star Wars fan, a Clone Wars fan, and a Rebels fan, and I'm I don't care about this. Mm. This looks not cool. even not even for Ahsoka. It's like you pushed Ahsoka's in Rebels. That's true. So everything that I was annoyed about Clone Wars got fixed in Rebels because they all it turn just, up in Rebels again. Would you be keen for? Rebels. But where Rebels ended up, would you would you be keen for a post? Actually, they are talking about doing a, a something post Rebels. I'm like two seasons behind Rebels, yeah. so I, I just need to finish it because oh. it was another. Thing where you get to the week to week stuff, and it's like I hate watching week to week things. Yeah. Can you look up the trailer for a new show called Deadly Class? Did anyone see this? Mm-mm. So this is a new show. It's produced by the Russo brothers. Oh, and it, it looks really cool. Russo brothers of Community and Avengers: Infinity War, which and are James Wan is yeah. captain the director as well. Connection. Anyway, so he's a connection to what now? James Wan is also a community director. Oh, is he? Yeah. Did not know so that. it's just this trailer about these in the this 80s. Right. Yeah. And this kid, and he's having some trouble. I don't know. He's got some sort of powers situation happening. Uh-huh. And then, um, what's his name? I can't remember who it is. The uh, Wong. The uh, Benedict Wong yeah. comes along. He's like, yo. Come on, come on in. And they hang out. There he is. Hey, Benedict He's the Paul. most underrated actor ever. Yeah. So then, Marco Polo, he is that show. Mm. And it sucks that the second season wasn't great because the first season mm. is bloody perfect. Agreed. Did you do you remember the IT crowd? Mm. Yeah. Like his role in the IT crowd? He's I, like, I never got too deep into IT crowd. Oh, okay. There's just, one, there's just one particular episode where he's in it. Benedict Wong? Yeah. He's the, um. you know, when they do Countdown, he done. wants the... He, oh, yeah, yeah, true. And he's yeah. like the... I forgot about that. Yeah. It's so funny because we watched it again and we're like, oh my gosh, it's totally Benedict Wong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so this actually looks really cool. Like Benedict Wong smacks this girl in the face. You guys know I love that. Yeah. All you had to tell me was Benedict Wong was in it and I'm in. I didn't know so you and Ali were TV both show? into this sort of thing. Well, this is a TV show. Yeah, sci-fi. Should make these jokes. Oh, that's cool. Someone's going to dig it up in ten sci-fi years. Sci-fi is and... such a hit and miss, like production. Of yeah, shows, yeah. But people. So Are what's they? the what's the show about? So it's about these misfits that come together at a school with Benedict Wong and they do stuff. Cool. It's like wow. Hogwarts, but <laughs> like gangster. Hogwarts, but gangster. Yeah. Oh, so wow. there's it a is. whole bunch of news on the CW verse, the Arrowverse, blah blah, whatever. Iron Fist season two teaser. You look great. Um, they didn't post that did they they did there was a teaser oh. for Iron Fist yeah. and there's like you just, you just see him, that right you up. see him pull his fist back and then 
You see it glow and it's like boom. Yeah, forget about classic, it. <laughs> classic Iron Fist. <laughs> you know, have you watched Luke Cage season two? No, but I heard Iron Fist is not bad. In His this. crossover episode makes you like Iron Fist. Yeah, that's what I heard. And it's like they do they do like a team up move in it that yeah. is like why haven't they been doing this the whole freaking time? <laughs> he just power fists Luke Cage palm hmm. and doing that like explodes a whole room and it just looks awesome. It's like, you have a team of superhero people. Why haven't you been doing more things like this? I have given up on this. Because Danny, because he's Danny Rand and he's the Iron Fist. I'm the immortal Iron Fist. Is cheap. It's just, I don't know. I Come couldn't figure on. out the whole arc yeah. of the whole Iron Fist story or Defenders yeah. for that matter. I really hated really Defenders. Weird. I don't think I can watch any of them anymore. I'm Danny Rand. I, I forced myself through Luke Cage season two to get to the Iron Fist thing because mm. apparently that was awesome. Yeah. It's not till like episode 12. Oh. So skip like two through eight because it's just Luke Cage being like, I'm angry and I need it's, to deal with my anger. That's pretty like, much episodes two through eight. It's like Defenders all over again. Actually, even Defenders didn't go anywhere. At least Defenders was only eight episodes. Yeah, that's true. All right, a couple more rapid fire. Ready? Mm. Doctor, just hit me with a keen or not keen. Keen. I will reserve my judgment until uh, I actually see the I didn't watch episode. Doctor Who yeah, season yeah. 10 footage from well, we don't get to see but there was footage from Shane Black's new Predator movie yeah don't know don't know yet Predator 1's like my favourite movie so I'm very mixed it has, emotions it has it. things going for it this is going to be amazing guys no no, no it hasn't got like Shane Black is a fantastic director was this the guy who I said really should be the director and you guys thought I was stupid who Shane Black directing Predator and why, I was like, why would you say but he's a lethal weapon director right yeah yeah and he's the one who did Kiss Kiss Bang Bang he did Iron Man 3 and did uh, The Good, Good Guys did nice he do guys. Straight Outta Compton no. no I might be thinking of something else <laughs> I think you definitely are. Yeah, so he's been directing this for ages. Yeah. Super keen. This is gonna be awesome. He's a good director, but I'm I'm very wary about the Predator franchise. It hasn't been good since Predator One. Anyway, Rugrats is back. What? Who cares? Keen, not keen. All right. Is it like they're all grown up? Is it CG? What is it? Don't know. Oh. Judge Dredd, Mega City One TV show. I am. P- Ooh. If it's the same as the movie I'm okay if they keep it the tone of the movie I'm keen mm. yeah if it's not like I don't want it to be a CW version of Judge Dredd mm. they showed some footage from Wonder Woman 1984 oh nice no trailer there no trailer is the tra- is the footage online no no keen not keen I would like to see how they deal with the 1980s 19- I like mm. the 1980s stuff it's sort of kind of cool I'm not keen uh, Buffy reboot any Buffy fans <gasps> I was thinking of the director who was going to direct the new Men in Black that was what I was thinking of before uh, Barry Sonderfeld <laughs> I know you were wondering yeah. no. thanks for clearing that up <laughs> no it was um, F. The Gary Gray oh the new Men in Black yeah the one with Chris Hemsworth and someone else I can't remember is it new Men in Black there's going to Tessa be. Thompson maybe mm. what about Tessa Thompson she was in the old one she's Men in Black she replaced Z in Men in Black 3. I know that because I recently watched Men in Black 3. Tessa Thompson. Does she? No, that's Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson. Yeah, sorry. I was going to say, Tessa Thompson was in Men in Black 3. I anyway. was close. <laughs> Come on. A whole last I name. Known. <laughs> Buffy's going to be black. Is Tessa Thompson going to be Buffy? No. Because I'll be keen for that. <laughs> Tessa Thompson. <laughs> Tessa Thompson is Valkyrie. Valkyrie in from uh, Ragnarok. Oh, yeah. yeah she's, she's cool. She's hot. <laughs> and it's not what matters, Nick. They s- matter, she is. They saw some footage from Stephen King's It, Chapter 2. Oh. Keen or not Keen? Keen. I keep wanting to watch the first I'm one. Seen the, I'm seen the first one. always when my girlfriend's around and she hates horror movies. <laughs> you should watch it. It's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I hear. It's like a actually scary version. you guys convince Emma she's watching? It's a scary mm. version. Oh, no, that's probably not going to convince her. You won't. <laughs> it's really... No, that's You'll hate it. It'll scare the pants off. There's like... No, that's not going to It's watch. like your childhood nightmares come true. <laughs> If, oh. you, if you don't want to sleep No, that's not going to work either Well, chapter two's got Jessica Chastain Bill Hader I love Bill Hader James McAvoy I love all these people mm. Mm, It's going to be good If you put Is Bryce it going to be good? Bryce Dallas Howard and Jessica Chastain next to each other Could you tell the difference? No yes. way <laughs> Yes, absolutely I, I know, maybe Anyway, that's what's been going on in the Comic Con world Wow, yes. that was a hell of a wrap. I'm actually very impressed. We yeah. really rushed through that, and it still took like half an hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had that's the most information I think anyone's ever brought to this podcast. That's a lot of information. It was just it was a good wrap up. It's just a list. <laughs> yeah, but you remembered names.